Hello. Today I would like to continue my series of movies about the operation of potted chips by using our salmon planning tool based on fast time simulation. I had already done some elements in this series, for instance, talking about different pot strategies for the discussion of efficiency. I have shown a simplified vector approach for port forces. And I also gave an introduction on the strange method stern first, going with the stern first and to show some advantages of this uh, motion astern. And today I would like to continue talking about the stern first method, specifically on the increase of safety in operational envelope uh, under strong wind or current. And this time I would like to use some practical samples. More specifically what I'm going to say today I will definitely use our salmon fast time simulation tool, but for specific content. So the first, as an initiation, I would like to talk about a sample of going stern first. And this sample was given by uh, my friend Karel Wiegert in his Master of Science See This. Uh, in the port of Southampton. It was made by simulation and I did the same with fast time simulation to show more details of these uh, maneuvers. Uh, and the second ex example will be on going into the port of Rostock. First to show how it's, be it's being done conventionally, bow first, and then to compare the same uh, maneuver in the same location uh, with alternative stern first method. So start first with the initial sample. This is a sample scenario which was used by uh, Karl Wiegert in his thesis, master thesis, and uh, he had uh, made investigations by a series of simulator exercises in real time in full mission simulators uh, with about uh, 60 candidates, trainees, which were trying to go into the port of Southampton to turn the ship here and then to uh, go astern into this space in here to go alongside on starboard side. Uh, from all these experiences he gave some advice how to do this maneuver. Yeah, the disadvantage of this work of merit is that it's very, very time consuming. Uh, the findings are based on, how to say, statistical results of these uh, candidates. There should be or there could be some better ideas to make it in fast time simulation based on our salmon tool. And this I did. Um, what you see here is already the complete maneuvering plan. It looks similar to that what Karl Wiegert uh, has achieved by his 60 simulations. And uh, it's, uh, what I want to show is um, how it's being done in fast time simulation. The red shape here is the initial position and from that we will go forward to, um, how to, to show how it's uh, being done. And you would, what you will see is the advantage. It's a very fast simulation method, saving a lot of times. And finally, this plan can be edited very fast to show, to show or to find out alternatives on different positions. So you don't have to go into the simulator. This is now the full maneuver made with the fast time simulation tool Summon. And you see here, this is a complete maneuver I made using these panels here for the maneuvering input, engine order, rudder, thruster, and also here down the current and the water depths. And these displays here on top are the navigation uh, values which were made at this reference position here. And uh, this is a full maneuver already completed. I have saved it, I have uh, 
loaded it again only to show it in the beginning. But what I do next is I will skip all the remaining parts only leaving the initial situation and then demonstrate how it's being done. So first I like to skip the maneuvers, clear up following. So we are finally here. And um, the, so this would be the initial setup where the ship is here. It's a cruise ship and it has a speed of 3.3 knots um, related to the engine order settings, 2.1 two, um, engine order settings. That means a revolution of 31 refs. <clears throat> and here we can see uh, that the ship is uh, continuing with, uh, I set it to six minutes prediction. Then you see the shape, so it's a constant speed. They have all the same dis distance. And um, the current is set here to 1.5 knots um, from 146 degrees. So this is the initial setup, which we made. And now I'm moving the ship reference position uh, out of this initial situation. So it's about up to 250, 55 seconds. It's around this situation here. The, and then when the ship is in the uh, line between this buoy and the mole here, then we will start the next maneuver. For this reason, I add a maneuvering point and then the reference for all handles is here. And then I try to stop and turn the vessel. And this is being done, I split the engine and I go with this engine to uh, 30 astern and the other one remains with 21. I use the rudder for 35 degree, already turning a little bit more faster. And additionally, I use the stern thruster to turn the ship even more. And I use the stern thruster maybe to 100%. We could also do it less, but okay. And with this, I'm using the reference position uh, to 95. I set a new maneuvering point, like here, and then I want to go astern. So the first is I skip the rudder, I skip the both thrust, uh, the stern thruster, and then I'm heading into this um, basin. So with 50 uh, around this. So what we clearly see, okay, we make it into the basin now. And now I'm going astern with the vessel. I have set a maneuvering point and I'm going until I'm roughly clearing this corner. This is a position where uh, the current is set to zero because here's no current anymore. So what we do is we set a maneuvering point and then we set the current to zero. And then also the water depth starts here to be 10 meters. So we have to go into the water depths. It's about 10 meters, enter. And then we have to stop the ship and bring it to the, to the berth. So what we first do is we have to now go with the engines ahead. So we go with maybe 20. And then with this configuration, we are heading, we're moving the ship into this situation to berth the ship. So with this, for instance, I set a new maneuvering point and then I use the both thruster and the stern thruster to go against the burst. Maybe 10 with this side and also 10 with this side. So we see clearly that the ship is heading against the burst. We are moving the ship and then we see, okay, we are very close 
So I set a maneuvering point. But what I wanted to show is a function to edit the whole maneuver. For instance, if I want to be more in the center of this fairway, I could go back to the first position, like here. This is the first position. And here I could uh, move it in this direction. And uh, if I want to go to the next, so for instance, the maneuvering point number one, this is it situation. So if I turn more or less, then we can see that the ship is going in one direction or the other. So like this, for instance, so I can freely move and edit every component, every segment of the whole maneuvering chain. And this is very comfortable. So you can make a concept very fast to find out what works and what not. We can make some alternatives, some optimization and others. So this is a very good sample to use this planning tool. This is now a sample with an alternative ship in a different port. Um, and this time it is with a port ship, because they are really having some advantages going astern. Uh, however, the first sample will be with a conventional method going bow first into the port of Rostock, turning the ship here and going back to the berth. Normally the, um, the cruise liners having her berth here or at this berth. And the, the first sample will be within conventional strategy. And uh, if you want to see how it works in life, then you can have a look onto the movie on our website, ISIMS GmbH. From made by Kaspar on a real bridge with the handles. For this sample, we have a very strong wind. So the wind is blowing from west and the wind speed is 25 knots. So you always have a, how to say, a difficulty to keep the ship in the fairway. And because of the big drift angle, so the fairway just fits, the ship just fits into the fairway. Here I will be using the uh, summon planning tool and not to make such a conventional way, but to go stern first and starting from here and going directly to this burst because you can do it if you go astern. Okay. Here we are with the alternative maneuver. So the wind in this case, in the same as the uh, previous sample I've shown is very strong, 25 knots from 270. You see here the wind arrow. And uh, well, under normal condition, it produces a big drift angle. That's what we have seen on the previous slide. But here we want to use the stern first method because the ship is going stern first into the port and wants to burst here. Normally, you when you're using uh, potted ships, uh, you can use several strategies. For instance, to make it very simple, to only use the pot angles to adjust uh, the steering and the speed control uh, using this vector approach, what I've already shown in another movie. And this I want to do first. There might be alternatives, for instance, yeah, I will show. <laughs> okay, so this is the full maneuver, but I want to demonstrate how it's being done here. So I first skip all the following. And uh, normally having the pots stern, that means 180 degree, then you see that the ship will drift away with the, with the wind force. And uh, so what we could do alternatively to hold the pot a little bit against the wind, maybe 175, to prevent the ship from going into the, onto that side of the fairway, 
And also to hold the bow up, we are using the bow thruster because the ship is only going with six knots, so this ship uh, might be using the bow thruster. Okay, then we can maybe 170 to increase the bow thruster to 30. And if we go with 165, for instance, then we need bow thruster up to 56, maybe 75. So we are straight in the middle of the fairway. And this will be our next position. We have moved the reference position up to here. So we set a new maneuvering point. And the uh, next step will be then to turn the pot in a way that we can steer the vessel into this arm here. So what we could use, we split the uh, uh, azimut propulsion systems and then we are using this pot, for instance, going to a position where we have 50, 50 degree. So what we would see is that this pot is already breaking and uh, this pot um, is having the speed. And if we reduce the, the thruster here a little bit, so 60 or even more, then we will keep her in this position and um, we move the ship now to the next position, up maybe up to here, if we have cleared this corner. So the speed here is only two knots. And uh, now we can set a new maneuvering point. And then we have to um, use the, this part to more to, to steer the ship around the corner. So it's now 90 degree. And this pot is, uh, should not go that much forward. So we go with 120, for instance, maybe even less. Then we see that the ship is slightly turning around the corner. And this thruster should be going with less. Uh, for instance, 47. So we see that the ship is clearly uh, making her turn around the corner. So we can s move the ship up to maybe three minutes. Then we have cleared the corner. So this is now our situation here. And there we can add a maneuvering point. And then we could use the ports to, to stop the ship a little bit more. So we go uh, to less. So this is the situation here. Then we see that the ship will go slower. So the azimut propulsion system is going uh, to break the ship, like 30 degrees, for instance. And the bow thruster will have to be moved to this side. And uh, if we want to establish a correct angle, then we could go, for instance, like this. So what we could achieve by means of this situation that we could move the, the ship against the burrs. So for instance, now, to go. So we see now the speed vector is moving in the direction of the burst and um, the uh, speed is one knot approaching the burst. So what we could see here is that the, the ship has a perfect situation. Uh, there could be an alternative maneuver instead of using only the angles of the pots, we could say, for instance, uh, let's fix the angles and using only the revolutions. There's an alternative, I will show it. For instance, uh, I reset the maneuver here and I load now another uh, maneuver which I have already prepared. 
So this is the alternative maneuver. So this nearly looks like the same, but I will discuss it. So the initial situation is the same. 42 refs on both engines. And then we go to the next uh, maneuvering point here. Then we see, okay, I have changed it. So this pot is going only astern to move the ship in this direction. And this pot is going to 90 degrees and will only take care for the steering in one or the other direction. So this is a fixed position and I do everything only with the refs. So in this case, for instance, um, I have here 34 and this is 36 refs. So I'm going up to this position. If I enter the next position, number two, then I will go around the corner. So I've increased this by uh, this up to 50 refs and this will going down. And because I have to break the vessel, I only uh, locate the pot in a head direction to break the vessel with only 20 refs. So only one switch from a head to uh, from a stern now to a head. And so we see that the speed drops. And um, when I go further to the third, uh, then you see still the same position here. This was 48 and this was 17. So I only control the revolutions of both thrusters and the position will only be 90 degree and this one ahead or astern to make the speed control. If you allow for negative refs, okay, then you can leave the pot in one angle conditions. Okay, this could be an alternative if you would compare the energy which you have to spend to go with that ship to this berth, then this maneuver is with less energy, less fuel consumption, but I leave it up to you. Normally it's better to have a mix of both versions. I only want to demonstrate both versions here. Okay, and for the final discussion, I have another movie to show. And now comes my last sample. I have taken it from the internet. Uh, it is a video about Port Miami's fashion show. It's from the Maritime Institute and uh, it's to be found on LinkedIn. And you see what happens. What a nice ballet. <laughs> but unfortunately, a lot of exhaust gases. And it's not, it doesn't look so much safe. Okay, I've shown this movie to trigger your thoughts whether it's being worth to think about an alternative strategy to go not here, turn the ship and go out, but immediately to go stern first and to turn the ship out of the port there. Maybe there should be some advantages. I leave it to your competent opinion. And if you want to see more of these movies, you have to go onto our website on YouTube, enter ISMS GmbH, that means company. And there are a lot of movies, for instance, about azimuth propulsion systems. And there will be added also this movie, which I have shown here. Enjoy.